Good afternoon. This is Reverend Fisher. Today I will be speaking to you about something that really angers me. Please be warned, this is a blog rant about something that really angers me. This rant will contain strong emotion and fierce anger. Stop destroying our Earth. This planet belongs to us because Yahweh God created it and kindly gave it to us. It has come to my attention that over the years we have mistreated, abused, and nearly destroyed our planet, the only home we have. As the life-sustaining oxygen we need to live is not found on any of the other planets in this universe. But despite that this important fact is brought to our attention, the ignorant idiotas continue to have no regard for life and continue to deplete our oxygen resources, bloody H, through the destruction of trees, plants, forests, and gardens, for the creation of thousands of needless and dangerous smoke-producing buildings, we have brought about global warming, destroyed the homes of many animals that are now struggling to survive and some dying, and for what? The creation of needless, idiotic, earthly possessions we will have no need for an LCLO. Global warming has caused the polar ice caps to begin melting, has made trouble for farmers who grow and provide life important vegetables because a big patch of ice that sits on high melts and flows down at just the right time to provide water for the farmer's crop is now melting too fast. Furthermore, it has caused our weather to become erratic. We have more dangerous storms some months, have extremely hot days where there were none before and vice versa. When I say we are responsible, despite the fact that we all did not create the disaster, we have in many ways been partially responsible for this hateful torment of Yahweh's planet. I mean to say that in the building of the needless items, awful smelly smoke, producing cars, and nuclear power, we are adding to the massive threat we have created. Although some of us have been trying to aid the situation by the creation of corn gas and hybrid cars, it is not enough. I mean to say that although corn gas is better, it still produces smoke into the air we breathe. And despite the fact that hybrid cars use electricity, they use some gas. And nuclear power is still being used when we could be using solar power to help our planet. What the f are we trying to do? Commit suicide? If we intend to remedy the situation, then it is important to be reminded that we have safer ways of continuing the things we enjoy without further harming God's planet. I am referring to the fact the earth contains many natural resources to help protect our trees.
it would interest you to be reminded that the sun produces an energy source to which we could make use of solar energy, solar power, electricity, windmills, which have been used for many years can also produce energy. Furthermore, if we conduct our behavior in a more natural manner that would aid in replenishing the Earth's water supplies, thus would return to us the recreation of water wells, thus providing us more sources of water to replenish our bodies internally, healing our many ailments. It would furthermore help that we grow our own crops, not to take away from that which the farmers grow, yet to ensure all God's children have enough food, manna, to keep our bodies healthy. Also, due to the onset of coronavirus, a COVID-19, it would be in our best interest to ensure that there would be enough food, manna, to sustain our bodies. So in conclusion, the best words to remind us of our duty to God's planet and we who reside on it come from both the golden rule and the Wiccan Reed. Do unto others as you would have others do unto you. Also meaning, do unto the planet as you would have it do unto you. And the Wiccan Reed, and did harm none, do as ye will. That is the conclusion of my rant. I hope you got something out of this. Please subscribe to my channel and like this video if you liked it. And you will see again more of my videos. Halo and good day to you.